Well, finally, I'm getting my hand on the new Duff. Let me show you outside real quick how it looks and then uh, I'll take you on the inside and also do some uh, some runs today and tell you my opinions on how it behaves, how it drives and all that. One of the things that we're gonna notice is that uh, we don't have the mirror up here and we don't have this mirror right here instead we have this very nice extremely wide angle uh, camera and we got a monitor inside um, definitely improved visibility a lot I really like that camera that's that's a very nice thing Okay, starting from uh, the dash, of course a lot of changes, nothing um, nothing similar to uh, what we had before, only probably this logo right here and the way that the steering wheel uh, is shaped, but we're going to talk about that in just one second. Um, plenty of space, this is not the XG+, Plus. this is only the, uh, the normal XG, this is how it looks like. I really like this uh, this metal finish, even though it's uh, it's plastic, but they look awesome. I really like these. And here we have that uh, wide-angle camera, which um, it sees uh, both from uh, from the left and a little bit of the uh, of the front as well. It covers that uh, that corner perfectly really really much much better than uh, than uh, just a regular mirror and right here we have this uh, aftermarket uh, camera as well the dash still has that old style uh, tray extendable huge this one much bigger than uh, than the one uh, we had before and this is the uh, multimedia it's all a touch screen. Right, let me show you around the uh, the menu real quick. So there are, are a couple of ways that you, you can set the um, the front dash. So you can either, either have it like this, probably during the night, um, so you won't have any any light obstructing you or you can have it like this with a little bit more info or like this with more info or like this with even more info everything is digital the analog is now long gone does look great a lot of options that you can do around here I won't go into uh, too much uh, too much details, but uh, everything is customizable. Uh, it it really looks great. I really like the way everything looks. You can put the uh, the drive time right here. All the information you have it at the touch of a few buttons. The steering wheel it's uh, is now adjustable. There is a paddle on the left uh, it's similar to the Volvo even though the, uh, the steering wheel is not as adjustable as um, you'll have them on the other trucks so you can put it down like that and then do like that or pull it up but if you pull it up it doesn't go up all the way so what you have to do is 
bring it down towards you then push it in then you will go up this is the uh, multimedia screen you can uh, connect uh, Android Auto or uh, Apple Apple CarPlay you can do the web link as well uh, for some reason um, I don't know if it's my phone or what's wrong with what but um, my phone just keeps uh, disconnecting for some reason with uh, Android Auto uh, I've got no idea if it's the truck's fault or if it's my uh, my uh, phone's fault but anyway I can't get a stable connection so I won't go into uh, too much details on, on this uh, it is a nice multimedia but I'm not sure what's wrong either with my phone or, or this uh, multimedia it's a bit complicated if you haven't been used to um, to Android Auto you either love it or hate it me personally I hate it okay so as you can see on the right you got the controls right here the heated mirrors and all the adjustments this panel has changed as well let me show you around the, this is the retarder this is how you set it on gear you have the drive neutral and uh, and reverse it's just this uh, simple uh, simple wheel and of course you can turn on or off the um, the retarder you still have the uh, manual and uh, auto buttons right here and you can turn off the uh, the eco mode and on the other side of course you have the wipers you have the speed of the wipers you have the horn and uh, i think that's the that's the screen washer right other than that uh, not a lot of uh, buttons as you can see we got the equalizer right here we got the um we got the lift axle, we got the uh, no regen, uh, the reverse alarm, diff block, traction control, weight distribution and stuff like that. This is uh, exactly like uh, the model that uh, we had before, the, uh, the climate control. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a good one, it was a decent one, but I was expecting for, for them to, uh, to upgrade that. Now the funny thing on the, on the door, as you can probably see, there is no uh, there is no handle so you can open the door and what you have to do is actually press right here and this will open the door I haven't seen this anywhere else um, even this morning when I wanted to get off the truck I was like how do I how do I get off because there's nothing to pull but all you have to do is this you actually press on this handle right here and you'll open the door as I've said, I really like this uh, these vents. Wish they were like some kind of metal, but no, they are they are plastic. But uh, they do look really, really cool. Got two of them right here, and two of them on the other side. Also, you got these uh, drawers right here. You also have this uh, this place right here to put your phone unfortunately there's only one single charger right here and another place somewhere in there for you to uh, to plug in your phone if you wanted to connect it either to Android Auto or to charge it directly from that socket but it's really really slow but they've put another charger right here which is very interesting uh, I've never seen a charger like right there exactly where you need it for your sat nav which is a great idea but other than these two charging points there's no other charging points in the whole truck now i'm not sure if this is like just like a like an optional to have more charging ports but this truck only has two one right there and one on the dash the space in the truck it's it's huge i mean it's the biggest space i've ever seen in a truck and this is only the um the xg model so it's not the xg plus it is massive okay uh i'm not sure how well you see this let me just turn on the light see if it will have better vision but not really the bed it's huge okay so it's similar in size to what we had before 
Oh, this is just a top. Huh? Okay, I got it now. So that was just a top. Huh? So this is the bed. It's it's massive, absolutely massive. And as I've said, it's not the XG Plus. Uh, look at the uh, look at how far away the the chairs are from the mattress, and on this side as well. Look at how much space you got there. I mean, it is huge. I don't know if you can realize from the footage, but there's a ton of space. It's not as uh, tall as the other one. Uh, I mean, probably probably it is, but it doesn't doesn't feel that tall. Feels bigger, feel, feels longer, and probably feels wider, but it doesn't feel as tall. Probably it isn't because of that aerodynamic shape. That's what I would say. Uh, moving on to the cupboards, a bit smaller than uh, what we had before in the uh, in the big size cabs. Here we also have a, a microwave. So plenty of space for them to uh, to fit a microwave, not a problem. But as I've said, they are not that um, neither deep or tall the cupboards as we had on the previous models and we also have the uh the bunk bed right here which um i would assume it's a uh, pretty comfortable duff we're always known for for comfortable beds and in this corner right here we have some uh, some modes right here for the parking heater and all that probably this camera won't get it you can uh, roll up or down the windows a lot of things that you can do with, uh, with these controls but as i've said there are no charging stations anywhere near this bed i really like this uh, super wide angle camera the quality is really good you can see really really well and just just look at that super wide angle you can see that blue Tesla right there. You can see just um, just past that Tesla and all the way in almost in front of that vehicle right there. So it covers covers quite a lot. I really, really like that. <laughs> That's really, really good, actually. <laughs> Another very cool thing I found is the driver's manual. Only 775 screens. Not complicated at all. <laughs> well, on the drive, it's still the same old duff that we all know. It's big, it's quiet, got the decent amount of power but now it's just upgraded with this new technology and we got screens all over the place it's a great combination if you're gonna ask me out of my all-time favorites for me always the duff has been on number three both after the, the scania and the volvos and this one really doesn't let down i mean the steering the steering position it's so much better to what it was before and that was still good but this is i honestly i feel as comfortable as sitting in a scania i absolutely love the drive position the seat is great it's comfortable the steering wheel it's really nice to the touch this one uh, has the has the ladder i like all the buttons in it i like the the, the fact that they they kept the uh, the old logo right here the old style steering wheel but now you got this very cool looking lcd screens or led screens or whatever they are they look absolutely fantastic i don't know if the camera will pick them up but it's got this um, uh, blue ish blue ish uh, colors they absolutely look spot on 
and once again I absolutely love the uh, the camera that's that's really really good I really like what they did with this uh, with this XG I really love it uh, steering wheel um, it's um, I would say I'm not sure so don't quote me on this but I think it's uh, assisted electronically so the same technology that uh, I think Volvo implemented on their trucks some time ago if you uh, if you can remember that uh, the TV commercial with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme where, where he was doing the uh, uh, the splits on the trucks I think that's when they put the uh, assisted steering what assisted steering on um, on trucks uh, basically it just allows you to um, you don't have to do so so many corrections uh, you don't have to move the steering as much uh, there are tiny corrections that uh, the truck uh, will do uh, on its own so that's that's really really good the speakers sound unbelievable just as good as uh, any modern uh, Scania or whatever any modern car really they are really really good uh, so you got the multimedia there you got I, I absolutely love it <laughs> I'm telling you uh, I would say probably is the same gearbox uh, engine um, I'm not sure about the engine this is the 510 I would say it has a bit more power or it feels powerful I'm not sure I've only driven it like with uh, with moderate weight so far uh, I've only had uh, eight tons on my last container but probably we're gonna pick up something heavier a bit later and uh, I'll tell you that but uh, with the empty containers or with the light load uh, feels agile uh, the, the gearbox I think is the same gearbox it's pretty slow sometimes um, so nothing spectacular there but um, I really like the, the sitting position the steering wheel uh, position it's it's really great Well, I got a load on, but not too heavy, only about 11 tons. And I don't know if you can hear it. But the turbo has a really powerful sound. <laughs> um, I would say it pulls a bit better than the, uh, than the XF. That's just how I feel it. On this, like... Uh, medium loads uh, but definitely the turbo is kicking in and is making a real cool sound I really like the way it sounds but uh, yeah on the XG I would say the um, uh, you could you can hear the engine a bit a bit uh, a little bit louder than the previous models because the XF were like dead quiet but on this one you can definitely hear the engine and especially the turbo when you when you put your foot down you can hear that nice that nice uh, turbo sound right so after all a huge huge step forward comparing it to what Duff was and where it was with the XF now with the XG they are over I don't know I'm 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 really impressed really really impressed they took it to the next level and I only hope that the rest of, uh, of the manufacturers will follow and keep up this uh, this high standards because it's it's really such a big step from what it was to what it is now absolutely love it even the, the way that uh, the mirrors are you got a lot of visibility they're not too big not too small perfect I really really love it MPG at the moment are not the great we are around uh, 9.2 uh, miles per gallon so uh, not the best one uh, but uh, I probably didn't have the chance to uh, um, to get it out in the open and uh, see what it's like on the motorway still very exigent on the uh, on the driver score uh, this truck has 45 percent the, uh, the driver score so still very um, you have to be very very gentle with the DAF to get uh, to get a good score which is good uh, I, I, I really honestly believe that uh, if we're gonna stick to this um, to these driving tips and everything that uh, the DAF can offer 
um, it will definitely make you a, a better a better driver and uh, last but not, but not least uh, do I like it more than the Scania well no but it's on the second place right now only because uh, I have not I have not drove the uh, the new Volvo yeah so comparing this one to the FH 16 yeah of course it's better it's something else but I still haven't drove the uh, the Volvo so this is right now for me number two Scania probably will uh, will always be number one just because of the quality and the power of the engine and the gearbox just flawlessly changing gears I absolutely love that truck but this is really 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 good I love it really glad I had the, uh, the opportunity today to uh, to drive this truck uh, and I guess uh, that's about it for now hopefully more vlogs will uh, will come with this uh, with this truck in the future so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe I'll see you next time bye